Hello, this is Neurosciences Connections, and I'm Bill Mobley, Chair of the Department of Neurosciences at UCSD. I'm really pleased to be here today with a brand new faculty member, Takaki Komayama, whose studies on neural circuits are really at the forefront of what's going on, what's best in neuroscience in the country. And so, Takaki, welcome to UCSD. You've been here for maybe just two or three months. Uh, not even. It's not been even. a month and a half now. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. An old timer. An old That's timer. That's right. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about your background and where you've come from and, uh, and your first impressions of UCSD. Sure. Um, so, well, I grew up in Tokyo. I went to college there, majored in biochemistry, and um, moved to the U.S. Uh, to do my PhD at Stanford. And that's where I took uh, one of your courses, actually. And I studied developmental neurobiology there, but my interest has shifted slightly to more functional systems neuroscience. And so I moved on to do my postdoc on the East Coast at the Genelia Farm. Um, and I moved here a month and a half ago. And my, so far, everything is great. UC San Diego is uh, have a, has a great neuroscience program. Uh, everyone's very collegial. I really love interacting with my colleagues and students. Yeah, everything is good. Terrific. Yeah. So, people might want to know what's the really important question you're trying to address in neuroscience. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the question and the meaning for pursuing that question? Sure. Um, well, very very broadly speaking, I'm studying um, the neural circuit mechanisms underlying our behavior and especially learning. So um, how, do, how does activity of neurons control um, our general behavior and how it changes during learning? That's the general question that I'm addressing right now in my lab. Mm -hmm. And what's your approach to studying that problem? Are there, are there things that you can do in your lab that uh, are new and different and especially helpful? Sure. Um, so. My particular focus, so um, neurons in the brain form uh, connections at different levels, very local connections and also more long range connections. And I'm uh, more focusing on local connections and we call these local circuits microcircuits. And the reason why I focus on microcircuits is because uh, microcircuits are generally uh, understudied uh, circuitry in the, in the brain, especially during behavior people's study has focused mostly on brain slice experiments. And we really don't know much about the dynamics of microcircuits in, during behavior and learning. And my approach to do this is to use a relatively newly new imaging technique called two-photon calcium imaging, which allows us to uh, image the activity of a large number of neurons forming microcircuit um, simultaneously. So that's the technique that I'm bringing. Mm -hmm. and, um, Sounds and exciting. So in a way, the tool you have now makes mm -hmm. it possible for you in real time to correlate the activity of circuits with behavior. That's, that's what I'm trying, yes. Mm -hmm. Great. And so you're learning about the learning of circuits. What, what do you mean by circuit learning? Um, so right now I'm looking for uh, circuit changes that correlate with learning. So I have, um, in my case I worked with mice, so mice um, learn very simple tasks, associational tasks, and I'm imaging the brain at the same time. And I see certain types of changes, plasticity, that occurs in the brain as the mouse, uh, as the mouse uh, learns a new task. And so that's what I mean by circuit learning. So mm -hmm. the changes in the circuit that correlates with the animal's learning. Very interesting. So where do you think the work will go in the next 10 years? What are we likely to learn about microcircuits that can help mm -hmm. us understand ourselves? Sure. Um, so, so this uh, new approach of imaging is really revealing new types of plasticity that we have not seen before. And so um, I think we can learn a lot about um, how healthy brains function and how they um, store new information when they learn. And also I, I'm hoping to get some insights into, well, I'm hoping to use these new insights from healthy brains and to ask what goes wrong in, in neural disorders, uh, particularly um, things that affect 
memory formation like Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. And because we know that circuits and circuit dysfunction are at the base of all neurological disorders, mm -hmm. the tools you're developing might really help us make some major breakthroughs in a number of different neurological diseases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope so. Um, so by, by using these new techniques, we can really look at things that we have not been able to look at. So we can use that um, in uh, models of neural disorders and, and, and see what, what kind of things are going wrong in those, in those models. Very interesting. Very exciting. We're delighted to have you with us. Thank we you. look for great things from you. Very excited to be here. And it's going to be great fun. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Bill.